Hey cactus friends, it's Jenny from Cookies Cacti. I am outside in my shade house right now where I grow even more seedlings. It is late April so I have removed the plastic covering on the outside of my little greenhouse kit. I just have two layers of shade cloth. This is shade cloth I bought from Home Depot and I believe it's 70% shade cloth. And believe it or not, last summer, or last spring, I learned the hard way that one layer of 70% shade cloth was not enough. I had some seedlings that were burning, unfortunately. So this is the setup that I have now. So it has been seven months since I have been out here to do an update on the seedlings that I have growing out here. Because these are not inside the house, I actually don't check on them very often. I find myself coming in here maybe once a week or so, and over the winter I really wasn't really paying that much attention to them. But in the winter time, they did have the plastic covering to help, you know, protecting them from some amount of cold, protecting them from the rain. And I would say that had hits or misses, but overall I think that they did pretty well just being out here. I have no additional heat in this structure, so they were dealing with whatever was being thrown at them by nature, you know, with the consideration that they were protected. But let me go through some of these seedlings with you and show you how they're doing. So let me start over here on this shelf. So here are my saguaro seedlings that I had shown in my previous saguaro video. I think I was doing some repotting. These are those same seedlings and look at them. They're doing great. They've grown a lot too. I think come June they will be two years old if I'm not mistaken. I have more of them on the other shelf, which I'll show you in a little bit. These are Mammillary nehepensis, where I got the seed from my own plant. They have been pretty easy to grow. They grow relatively quickly for cactus, at least, you know, amongst the different types of species and genuses that I have been growing. And look at them. They're doing great. I gifted one of these to my brother. Let's see, what else do we have here? So this for Faro Cactus was Lizeni. I did not grow from seed, not these two pots. They were actually little seedlings that I took out of a pot from my parents' plant and then repotted them to give, they had no space in that pot and they've been doing well. So these two are not my seedlings. This is my first ever Mammillaria seedling doing well. Have some Astrophytum hybrids here that are good and not good. They're alive, but you can see over here, over the winter I had a lot of this stuff show up on my astrophytum. I can't tell if it was cold damage, if it was some sort of fungal infection or what. I mean, the plant itself is fine, but you know, these are kind of unsightly, so, but it's okay. I think this was my second batch of astrophytum ever that I grew from seed. See, some of these are plants that I did not grow from seed. These were purchased as seedlings, and I've just been growing them. They're Coripantha something. Here's more of those Astrophytum hybrids that I grew from seed. Some funny looking ones like this. But you can see that those markings here showing up on other plants, and you're going to see them on a lot of them today. Now the plants themselves are doing all right. This one's cool. It's only four ribs. Now this pharaoh cactus was lazeni. I think I did grow from seed. I don't have a lot of success for, with pharaoh cactus for some reason, but these are, you know, here's one that's still alive. This is a turbini carpus. I can't remember what species anymore. Uh, I don't have a lot of luck with turbini carpus, as you've seen from my you know, growing cactus from seed series. I've have not been doing well. These are a few survivors from one of my first batches of Turbinocarpus. These are from Mesa Garden. Over here, I believe I grew these two ferrocactus cactus from seed with Lizeni. They need more space. You're going to see a recurring theme right now of just no space. This is Turbinocarpus. It's actually, I think, the same species but two different varieties from Mesa Garden. This pot has been doing surprisingly well. And if you can see, there's some flower buds showing up on that seedling. Um, that seedling has already flowered for me once. It did it last, I think last year, and now it's doing it again. 
they flower when they're really young, which is pretty cool. Let's see, over here I've got some astrophytum. These were um, the first cactus that I ever grew from, from seed. They are, can you believe it, they're actually already two years old. They're growing really, really slow, but they're alive. Some more over here. These were the cactus seedling a gateway into my obsession. Let's move over to another shelf. All right, so now we're on a lower shelf and you can see, I know uh, one of my viewers and commenters, Nino, always tells me the ID on this and I always forget what it, what it is. I think something pentalophus or something. Sorry, Nino, it doesn't stick. There's another one. So these were supposed to be Areocarpus seeds that obviously are not Areocarpus, but there are a couple Areocarpus seedlings kind of, you see that one? And I believe there's one in here somewhere as well. These Hamato cactus, I think Cetaspinus or something, these were growing inside my house uh, under the grow lights for, for I think most of their lives. And I had just moved them out into the shade house probably a few weeks ago because I'm out of space indoors. And they've been doing fine out here. I left a couple of them indoors just to have some comparison to see how they grow indoors versus outdoors. But I am out of space. Got some Astrophytum Coa lens. These pots were actually all indoors that I moved out here. Not the best, uh, you know, pots of seedlings like this is supposed to be Ferrocactus uh, chrysocanthus, but they're not doing well. They actually look like they're doing a little bit better out here, but there's a lot of dead seedlings in there. Terpene carpus lefafaroides not doing well. Coelent's doing okay. I just watered it, so it's got that stain there. This is Epithelantha micromeris. Not that great. This is more Astrophytum coelent's. These have been out here for a while now. This is Astrophytum senil var aureum. Doing all right. Uh, I think there's much more I want to show you there. This is one of the trays of Areocarpus that I've been showing in previous updates of you know, Shade House seedlings, and there's a few plants left see them kind of camouflaged in there not doing great but alive I've just left them down here have not done anything with them they've been here all fall all winter now all spring so we'll see okay, so now I've moved on to another shelf I've got these Mammillaria perbella these are all from Mesa Garden um, I did lose quite a few of these, but I do have some survivors as well. There's more of them. Aren't they pretty? Look at that. Some more. Oh wait, sorry. These are Mammillaria microtheli. There's a garden. I guess if you look at them, they do look different. I mean, between microtheli and perbella. You can see some dead seedlings in there. I have more Astrophytum coelents. I think these were the first coelents I ever grew from seed. I think they are from a seller on eBay, if I'm not mistaken. They're doing well. Another one. Germination rate is really high on these um, Astrophytum coelents seeds. These are my own. I think they're probably a hybrid. Again, you can see that those markings there saw before but alive this is Mammillaria retiriana another pot of the same this is Coripantha I cannot pronounce that I have to look up that seed catalog number on Mesa Garden it's another pot of them they're really really funny look at them like these long skinny worms I had these growing indoors for a long time and then I think I moved them out here Maybe last fall or sometime? I don't remember. I think they showed up in my previous Shade House videos. This is another pot of Mammillaria retiriana. 
These are my first two ever Euphorbia seedlings. They are a hybrid between maybe Horita or Polygona and then some other hybrid. <laughs> it's like hybridized two, two, three, four times. I had three, but I gave one of them to my brother. They're doing well. Pretty easy plants. Let's see. Oh, here's a saguaro. There's actually two in the pot. This was the one that I had entered into the cactus show and sale. I think it's grown since the show. Pretty cool. And this is Astrophytum ornatum. And you're going to see that I did not do very well with the ornatum, surprisingly. They were supposed to be relatively easy, and I really failed. I got one seedling in this pot. The rest of them are dead. Are all dead. Let's move to the lower shelf. So here are more Astrophytum uh, hybrids that I grew from seed off my own plant. We saw some of them already on a previous shelf. There's just more of them here. They're doing well and they grow uh, faster than like a standard Mario Stigma, I feel. These are all mine. Oh, I'm sorry about the lighting. These three pots are also Astrophytum. And they're from Mesa Garden, and there's some like F2 hybrid or something. This one's interesting, huh? It's like three heads off of it. It's got some orange at the base, which is not great. It's okay, though. This is, oh, we can still see the number. 55.5 seed catalog number, Mesa Garden. Maybe it's some sort of Capricorn, Astrophytum. It hasn't gotten old enough for the spines yet. This is Mammillaria carmine, I think. Very lovely plant, very, very cute. And they also flower pretty young. Tell I just watered it, look at that. Cute, so cute. This is Aerocarpus fissuratus. Well, it's supposed to be. The Aerocarpus are there, still alive. And then I have an Astrophytum for some reason stuck in that pot. I don't remember how it got in there and why it's there. This is Astrophytum. I don't know of what, but you can see it's not. It's got some sickness there, but it's alive. Actually, all of these have that sickness. That probably looks like that orange stuff. Probably looks like some sort of ro uh, rust fungus. If you can tell, I'm not really doing anything about it. I just, I think I'm a little in over my head with uh, all these seedlings. It's getting hard to take care of all of them. These are Mammillaria galmerii, I believe. This one, this one. And this one, very pretty, all from Mesa Garden seeds. Here's more Mammillaria microtheli, more here as well. There's another Carmine Mammillaria, also in flower. So cute, huh? This is Mammillaria lenta, only got one seedling there. Hope it stays alive. This is another pot of Astrophytum coalens. This is Astrophytum ornatum glabrescens. All four of them are still alive. I did really bad with the Astro ornatums. Uh, when the season turned in the fall, I had a lot of die off. I can only blame myself for not um, modifying my care fast enough with the cooling season. Now that it's spring, it's another one of those transition periods which is always difficult to work with because things dry out much faster now. The sunlight is way stronger, so I have to be careful. Astrophytum ornatum. You can see that damage or disease or something on them. I think it's okay, right? I'm, I'm just growing these for fun. 
This is another Mammillaria galmerii or galmerii. I think this pot's pretty interesting because they're all from seeds from the same seed pack, but they all look different from each other, especially that one. This is Astrophytum ornatum glabrescens again. This is some Myriostigma. There's only a few left, and this is probably not doing great. Yep, it's probably rotted. This is some sort of Repantha. This is more Astrophytum coalens. See some weird, weird stuff there. Astrophytum myriostigma. Astrophytum ornatum. More of them. That's my own Astrophytum hybrid. This is also ornatum. You can just see that orange stuff everywhere. It's too bad, but what can you do? More. Otherwise, I think this is super pretty. Zoom in. Look at that. I mean, if you ignore the, the imperfection. Behind those are more Mammillaria carmenae. More Astrophytum. I think that pot was growing indoors all winter and I just brought it out maybe a few weeks ago because, again, I'm out of space indoors. More Astrophytum. These were also growing indoors and then brought them out at the same time as that pot. It's Turbinicarpus something. Maybe La Falfaroides, but maybe not. Those have been out here for a long time. And then Mammillaria Grammii. I think seeds from my parents' plant. Alright, let's move to the top shelf now. These are Astrophyta Myriostigma from seeds off my own plants. This is my first batch of uh, cactus from seed ever. These were all the little ones uh, when I separated them out and I put them all in here. Now they're finally outgrowing this little tray. This is a mixed seed pot. There's Areocarpus in there. I don't even know if you can see it. Mammillaria, Escobaria, Astrophytum all mixed together. Yeah, not doing that again. Here are more saguaro seedlings. All from that same batch and from those videos that I've done in the past. These all need to be separated. Oh gosh, you guys. One more over here. Then I have Mammillaria gramii mixed with the bird mist. Comptotrica var curvispina or something. Look how cute the Grammy eye is at um is a little baby. I don't remember how old these are anymore. This is Mammillaria Shidiana. These were also flowering um very young. I think they were like flowering most of fall and maybe part of winter. See how these are all overgrown. Oh, look at that. Mammillaria candida. And if I zoom in, you can see there's also like that same problem on the astrophytum or on here too. Can you see that? Kind of that orange. Oh, maybe over here. Oh, there we go. Now it's very obvious. They're alive. They're growing, but they've got imperfections. Maybe it's from the cold. I don't know. These are more of my astrophytum hybrids, and what's kind of cool is if you look at this seedling, it's got that bumpiness to it, like that Fukurayu type of light characteristic of that. Pretty neat. More of those hybrids. More? These ones don't look too bad. Oh no, there you go. See that again. Here we've got more Mammillaria nehepensis from seeds off my own plant. A nicely overgrown pot over here. These are already flowering too. Uh, there's evidence of a spent flower bud there. 
And this is the Mammalaria that I, uh, pot that I entered into the Cactus Show and Sale for CACSS. No ribbons for this one though, but still growing. So as you can see, as much as I'm running out of space indoors, I'm also going to be struggling outdoors as well. All right, let's move to the last part is this tray. So this tray is many of my aerial carpus, or at least of what is still surviving and some other stuff. So let's take a look. So this is Coripantha recurvata. These are from Rob Romero seeds. Doing well. This is what my pot of Epithelantha bokei, also from Rob Romero. These were the my third place winners at the CACSS show and sale. And if you can kind of tell, if you've seen my previous videos on this uh, pot, they've grown since the show and sale. I just can't believe they're still alive. This is Escobaria Robinso oh. Robin Sorum, awesome from Rob Romero, doing nicely. Got a Gymnocalaceum raganese from Mesa Garden seeds. The pot of Areocarpus hintonii, my own seeds. Oh my gosh, they're so dark, I don't even know if you can see them. And keep in mind, these have been sitting out here all winter, no heat added. Aerocarpus vertusis crossed with the trifinger. Mm, not doing the best, but they're still there. Let's see. Okay, let's move over here. Aerocarpus. I don't know what, but they look good. Another Aerocarpus. One seedling left in there. Here's one, one seedling here. Look how fat the tubercles are. I love. I love the way it looks. So chubby. Sorry, I don't know the IDs on the rest of these. They don't, I can't read the labels. Just know they're Areocarpus. You can see like there's an orange or reddish hue on those tubercles, probably not good. I don't know what that is. So one Epithelanta micromeris in this pot from my plant. Areocarpus. This pot's actually been doing all right. There were always four seedlings in there, and there's still four seedlings in there. Let me cover the root a little bit. It's like two seedlings left in there. Three seedlings here. This one's not doing so hot. There's nothing in there. Couple seedlings there. This was a pot that had been doing really well and then it wasn't. And I think I've showed in past videos how they were just like melting off at some point. More Areocarpus. More Areocarpus. A tubercle. Yeah, so, you know, I've struggled with Areocarpus a lot, but I am happy that there's still some left. Let's see what happens this spring and summer. So, hope you all enjoyed this little shade house seedling update. As you can see, there's all a lot of work to do. But I'm happy that these plants are still around, and I have to figure out what to do with all of these. We have a really big week coming up for Cookie. Uh, she has hyperthyroidism, and her appointment for the radioiodine I-131 treatment is this Monday, where she'll have to be, stay at the hospital probably through Thursday, um, mainly to get that radioactivity down so she's safe to take home. And I'm quite anxious about this whole thing. You know, she has kidney disease, and thyroid and the kidneys are on the opposite side of that little Know, of the balance so I'm quite nervous and anxious about it. She's been on medication for the thyroid and that medication is oh it's not it's nasty. 
wish us all well. You know, I'm hoping for the best, but also trying to be prepared for the worst as well. So we will see. But, you know, cookies, cacti will continue probably no matter what. Anyway, wish us all luck. But the next time I make another video, which I'm hoping will be next weekend, Cookie will be back at the house. So let's see. All right. Take care, y'all. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.